Hey everybody, my name is Gothic VR, and I wanted to show you guys this game called Core. Core is essentially the love child between Fortnite and Roblox. Essentially, as you can see, the graphics, the gameplay, looks a bit like Fortnite. But um, with all its features, it's more like Roblox. Roblox has their play section and their create section, very much like this game. You can either be straight up just player, playing all the games that all the content creators have, or you could create your own games very easily. Okay, I want to take this time while we're loading into the game to show you the home page where you will most likely end up first before you download the game. And here's a quick overview of the website for your portal to the multiverse. Core is an endless arcade of thousands of free games to play and worlds to explore designed by a global community of developers. Play thousands of unreal powered games in every genre imaginable or create, share, and earn from your own. Here's a video if you would like to watch. I'm not gonna go ahead and click that just yet. And this game is an alpha, just FYI. But for it being an alpha, it's really well supported. And for the most part, everything works great. If you scroll down here, you can go and browse all the games in your internet browser before you actually open up the launcher. And here we are again with the create, publish, and earn. Also very similar to Roblox, how you can create your own games and earn money from them. Some of you may have even seen Smosh Games play this for their Smosh Summer Games, <laughs> the video game. Uh, this is where I personally found out about this game and I thought it was pretty cool. So when you first launch the game, you're gonna end up spawning here. You're gonna get a little uh, tutorial, teach you how to fly, how to not fly, crouch, pull out your hoverboard, everything like that. There is a wide variety of game portals here as well. See people saying hi because part of the tutorial asks you to uh, use the chat. But here we have the popular games. We have quite a few portals. You can go ahead and just walk right into any of them. Try them out for yourself. And we also have most active. And then Strike Team, one of the popular ones, pretty cool. But apart from the beautiful graphics and all the different things you can do in the game modes, you can also customize your character. There are presets here, but you can also go ahead and edit them. Give them different head, change the skin color if you would like. You can even unlock different shirts, different pants, shorts, or even backpacks. I don't have too many since I recently started myself. Then you can also unlock what they call mounts. For example, your hoverboard, uh, you could replace that with a horse or anything else essentially they also have emotes this does very much look like fortnite but it's a very user-friendly ui in my opinion then over here on the right hand side we have quests you can actually earn xp for your account and they have daily quests for you to complete for example They'll uh, ask you to play a game for at least 60 seconds. You just go ahead and click on the blue and it'll uh, load you into the game. And you just have to play for a while or sit through the whole game. You'll get that XP. As you earn that XP, you're gonna be leveling up and about every level, you're gonna be getting rewards. So my next reward is gonna be this mini tank Mark II. I assume that's gonna be a mount. So instead of that hoverboard, I will just be riding that. Uh, you cannot set your own images for profile picture off of your computer. You have to use the ones that they give you. They're fine. They're not too horrible, but you unlock one here. Then here you get uh, get some pants. And we have shirts, I guess armor, uh, new head or face preset. Here's the horse I was talking about. I'm not too sure if there's anything after level 50, but if there's not and you are still craving for more customization options. They do have a shop. If you would like to spend money, this is the place right here. Yes, this very much does look like Fortnite, but it's not bad. Then they have more of their catalogs here, more of a theme, military theme. You could go ahead and purchase individually. 
just gonna go through these quick you guys can check them out assuming you guys uh check this game out for yourselves here are the credits it's basically <laughs> their robux or v bucks kind of like roblox you can uh use their credits to spend on customization or you can spend them in individual games that people create to unlock perks either different weapons or power-ups yeah i personally have not spent on any of this just yet i haven't found anything that was really worth my money i'm honestly satisfied with my crash test dummy here I think it looks pretty cool, pretty fresh. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, throw in some gameplay. Maybe throw some clips in here from a uh, future playthrough. Okay, here we are in Strike Team. Let's go ahead and find people. What's up, guys? Okay, he's friendly. There are different classes as well that you can pick down here at the bottom. Whoa. Didn't realize I was using a uh, marksman rifle here. No wonder I uh, didn't have full auto. Okay, so this whole game mode, you just have to capture points. Okay, we hit those. Okay, here we are with the default class you would most likely be spawning in with. Okay, nice. Gotta recapture this point. Gotta be careful because uh, there are a lot of hiding spots. Climb the buildings and I'm dead. The uh, directional sound doesn't work too well in my opinion just yet, but it's understandable since it's an alpha. Nice little three piece there. Okay, quad feet. Nice quad feet and core. Okay, okay. No wall bank so this uh, strike team uh, mode actually lets you customize your loadouts as well uh, just if you press escape or after you die you uh, there's a return to loadout button in the top right you're just gonna go ahead and click that and it'll bring you here it's gonna take you out of the game and you could go ahead and uh, customize switch out your guns or passive abilities as well as your equipment all right we're gonna continue with some gameplay I uh, captured with my friends here So I was under the impression that you had to merge the things by twos, but I guess it's three and up. Then you're able to do more. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um. I beat the first level. This was just, this is easy, man. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm in the tutorial. Never mind. There are more saplings. What did I do? I think I uh, I just straight up messed up. Build a house. Okay, I'm tired of this. What? Okay, I guess this is a uh, sky block. A large block sky block, but in the uh, oh. core. Yeah, did you jump, go through the portal? I have a whole tree in my inventory. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, is this just like the home area? I don't know. Okay, oh, interesting. No. What uh, what's this hub area here? I don't know. I've been trading my <clears throat> my stuff. Oh, this does look just like a skyblock type of thing, like some high pixel skyblock. Yeah. Can you mine over okay. here? Or that's it's what I was just doing. trading. If you go up here, you can mine. That's where I was getting rock and coal from. No, mine. Hey! Go mine your own! No. Okay. Hey, I'm home. I wonder if that's your island way over there. I see an oh, island in the distance. Oh, we did spawn on different islands. I guess this is Skyblock, literally. I thought we were gonna spawn on the same one. That's so cool. So. Can I even 
I don't know what the point of this game is though. It doesn't look like you can you can advance at all. Oh, you can go first person. What the heck? By pressing V. Okay, I have a there. crafting table now. How? I opened up my inventory and then I uh, used wood and I I don't even know TBH. Okay, I just got uh two walls. I need more wood. I assume the wheat is just for trading because it doesn't look like we have a hunger bar. I guess so. Oh, you can make a chair, table, interesting. Kind of in need of more walls though. I wish I hadn't sold all my materials at the beginning. I'm kind of upset that I did that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh. Uh, so I was, if you use your uh, hoe to make soil, you can plant like into the void basically but you can't stand on it like i was trying to build off of my island with that soil but you cannot do that okay so you said this is just sky block basically, basically. uh like a dumbed down high pixel sky block oh that's that bothers me the most you can hold in a stack is 63 uh that's weird okay well my little home is basically done uh i forgot to re replace that wall but it's okay thank you so much to those who stuck to the very end if you like the video please like comment and subscribe and that's all for me for now peace out